Uh, it is time for the two-minute drill. Joining us now is Mark Travis, Intrepid Capital President and CEO. Mark, uh, good to have you with us uh, today. Real quick, before we get to your picks, I mean, are you taking comfort in this little rebound we've seen in the market, or a pretty significant rebound, or are you, are you still suspect uh, of the prospects for the market here? Well, Mike, as all the previous speakers have said, we've had a nice rebound off the June lows. I'm, I'm hopeful as a small cap equity investor, the market's starting to broaden out a little bit and look mm -hmm. for things outside of the, you know, the NASDAQ and the S&P 100, which yeah. is really where we focused. And I think we have a few ideas here for the viewers that make sense in this environment. So I'm um, you do a little, you know, a little cautiously, bit uh, cautiously optimistic. off the radar. Yeah, so let's talk about those picks. Carter's, uh, a retailer, uh, ch children's of baby clothes. What do you like about it? Well, it's the dominant uh, clothier <laughs> for babies. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you've got a couple things going on. They've reduced their SKUs and their store count. They, they're more efficient now. And um, you've got, obviously, places like Target destocking. But counterposed to that, you've got kind of a baby boomlet. Um, you also get, like I like to say, paid to wait with a 3.6% dividend, which is, you know, frankly, over 2x the S&Ps, which is about 150 basis points. So I, I think that's right. It's expensive characteristics in this environment. Uh, an energy play, uh, Civitas Resources, we don't talk about too much. Tell us about it. You know, Mike, it's interesting. It seems like every week people talk about the only sector that's working in a bad week is energy. And um, we, we think this business has done a great job. They've got more cash than debt. It's about a $5.5 billion market cap. They pay a special dividend. If you look at their dividend since year in 21, it's gone from 46 cents up to probably 140. They're committed to paying out over half their free cash flow. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's a, just a defensive energy pick. They're, they're in the, you know, the denver Julesburg field, uh, north and northwest, northeast of yep. uh, Denver. Gotcha. Now, uh, Valvoline, now auto service and parts, actually been a pretty resilient part of the, uh, the economy and the markets. Talk about this one. Well, Mike, as you know, people have had a hard time getting new cars through the chips uh, and lots of reasons. Uh, inflation and used cars and, and hard to find new ones means you've got to maintain the old ones. I think mm -hmm. the American fleet today is around 11 years, but this business of, uh, you know, oil lube and filter basically is growing uh, double digits in their same store sales as well as their store count. And they've divested the more traditional, well-known lube business, the Saudi Aramco. So we think they'll use that cash to pay down some mm -hmm. debt and buy back shares and drive value higher. Although we now have a 1% uh, tax on uh, buybacks. Yes, we do. Which, I don't understand how that makes any sense, but we can talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that one another time. Unclear if that's going to have a big impact, but uh, Mark, thanks again.